Topping our world lead today, CNN is getting a first look into an Iraqi city that was just liberated from ISIS after being under the rule of the terror group for some two years. Iraqi army Humvees barreling across northern Iraq to capture the key city of Kayara nearly 24 hours ago. Just about 40 miles from Mosul, Kayara is a strategically critical city in the fight against ISIS as the Iraqi army hopes to recapture Mosul by the end of this year. It's Iraq's second largest city. It's one of ISIS's biggest strongholds there. CNN senior international correspondent Arwa Damon shows us the irreparable damage that ISIS left behind. Just take a look at how desolate it is here, how abandoned the road is, at least in this direction. This was the main road that cut through the town. This was the main market here. It was a thriving place before ISIS took over this town some two years ago, more than two years ago. And then you still have this thick black smoke billowing above it, and that is from uh, the crude oil that ISIS was burning to try to impair the visibility of coalition aircraft and drones. And residents were telling us they'd been burning this uh, crude oil for about the last six months. The forces you see here, they are part of Iraq's counterterrorism unit. They were the ones that first came in and really led this operation to liberate the city. You see um, some of the kids. It used to be a lot more crowded. There were a lot of children out earlier. Um, but the kids right now are wearing three-quarter pants or shorts, and they weren't allowed to do this under ISIS. And it may seem like something uh, that is very basic, but just to be able to, to do that right now for them is a novel experience to a certain degree. A lot of the residents that we have been talking to were also describing how ISIS was using them as human shields. There was a father who was here earlier with his two-year-old son, and he was saying that ISIS had fighters positioned in front of his door, they were firing out towards the Iraqi security forces as they were advancing. And then the Iraqis countered with mortar fire or somehow his house was hit in a mortar. He just describes how everything went black and he grabbed his little two-year-old and ran for it out the back door. People would have escaped if they could. They just said that they weren't able to do so. 24 hours ago, this was an active battle zone. They must have been so afraid. It's really hard to, to imagine what it was like for the children, what it was like for the parents that weren't able to keep their children safe in all of this. But what we're seeing here is really just a snapshot of the challenges that the Iraqis are facing, the sheer and utter horror and hardship that the populations are going through. And, and you think about what is going to lie ahead as the Iraqi security forces push towards Mosul, Iraq's second largest city, and the civilian population that is there, the potential uh, destruction that might be caused there. And as one of the residents who we were talking to put it, he said, look, the town can be rebuilt. The country can physically be rebuilt. But what we're paying for in terms of lives lost, that is a price that can never be restored to us.